Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your August 2022 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. I swear I have done this uh, reading like multiple times and uh, a file got corrupted. That's why you don't see me laying down the cards. But and that was disappointing because I was really on a roll, but it is what it is. Um, I need to check my phone more often to see if, you know, the memory is almost full. But um, one thing I want to say as I'm doing these readings over and over again is I, I realized that August is a month when uh, Mars goes into your sign. And the significance of this is that you're going to have Mars in your sign for seven months. So that is cray cray. You know, you're going to, I don't know how often that happens. I know that Mars is retrograding, so that's part of why why this is that is why this is happening. But it still seems kind of unusual. Um, so, I guess you know when I when I think about that, it makes sense that the heart of the matter is the Seven of Wands because you may feel like you have to fight for yourself. Mars is that god of war. Now that doesn't mean that the god of war is this destructive violent entity that is starting things it can be that the person is um defending themselves from some someone else's attack and actually we have in the past position the um judgment card which connects with it could be a legal matter it could be you know somebody judging you for your actions or you judging your own judgment like why you know what made me do that thing because this is the card that can be cause and effect it's connected to pluto so it's that karma like the chickens coming home to roost because there is cause and effect in the universe so you know they have that saying you you lay down with dogs and you get fleas um is god punishing somebody who uh, lies down with a dog for getting fleas or is it just like uh, cause and effect so um, the thing is that if this is a legal judgment you may feel like somebody's trying to put one over on you trying to um, take advantage of you and we have the, the higher message the Ten of Pentacles, which is the card of generational wealth. So how I interpret this, because also I want to bring out this card, which is the card that crosses you, which is the Page of Cups. And this can be a card of somebody who is being rather naive about a situation. Maybe you are, you know, the, 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 the fish jumping out of the cup can suggest a Piscean energy. Um, and, you know, some of you may actually have your moon in Pisces, you, you uh, Geminis, and it's very difficult for you to discern when somebody is, um, you know, giving you the con job. But also, th that can indicate, like if you have inner planets, some of you Sun and Gemini people have inner planets in Cancer, um, that can be very sentimental. And, and when somebody is thinking of the good old days, they forget about the bad old present days. And they gloss over that. So being very aware of that, that can lead to, um, you know, some kind of an issue that has to do with inheritance. Um, maybe uh, there are A situation where there are two families involved. I don't know if I was talking, because I've gotten this card, so I feel like for, with another sign or two, and I feel like this is something that the collective is sorting out with the seven of wands, that um, they're having to fight for their rights. Um, but I've been doing a series of readings this morning, so I'm trying to think if I said this to another sign, but I'll say it to you. This idea of like, especially with two families, 
if you are the, the, the child, maybe the adult child of the, um, of the first family of one of your parents who has passed and there's a, there's a, um, what do you call it? Um, a will, but yeah, I can't think of an, uh, an estate situation and you have sometimes in those situations, if your parent, the other, your parent that got divorced from that person, if it didn't end well, or maybe, um, your other parent wasn't a good partner themselves, that may spill over onto you. Maybe your um, the parent has who has passed kind of blamed you. They saw you as part of that um, bad marriage, so they just kind of wanted to get rid of that, you know. And they kind of focused on their current marriage and gave most of the money to that family or what, maybe all of it. And you feel like, hey, I deserve this. And you may not even be a greedy person. You just feel like, um, like with the Page of Cups, they may be trying to um, cheat you in some way. So you have to be very careful. And I think what the message would be with the Ten of Pentacles is that the reason it's called generational wealth is because you might want to give it to your kids. It's not just about you getting money and being greedy, but let's say you have children or just the, the sense of like, um, the inherit the the people that are inheriting this, they are the the lineage, the family lineage, and you to, just to show you that you are part of that lineage, even if you're not part of that same family, you're start still part of that parent's lineage. So you don't have to act like the redheaded step kid that is treated like crap, although. I wish I, you know, in my next life, I want to have red hair because I think that would be so awesome. I love, I love that color uh, for hair. So anyway, <laughs> I know you were just really interested in that. Uh, what's coming in is the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. So something positive, definitely out of all of this. Um, and this can even be financial. I don't, I can't remember why. I'm sure it's through the number nine, which is associated with Jupiter, um, the, the house of Jupiter, which is Sagittarius's house. And um, this can be this sense of maybe something that you, like you win the, you, you get the better of the situation. This can be a gloating card. So you may be like, look at me now. You thought you you thought you were gonna fool me, but ain't gonna be the same fool twice. And uh I don't think many people can outsmart a Gemini person, outwit. What is it saying? Like if if um you're trying to outwit somebody, it's a it's um oh god, my brain is like mush right now. But it's like something like a, um, you're outwitting your opponent. I don't know. There's like some joke, but it's a, a wordplay. But anyway, if you if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. But yeah, so something could be happening where you are just, um, maybe you didn't think that it was going to go your way, but it did. And part of the reason why is that you fought for what your rights are. And it's really about for yourself. Maybe you have been pushed um, around by these people um, already and you are like done with this kind of crap. And you're like, you know what? I deserve better than this and I'm not going to take this crap anymore. The outcome is the high priestess. And this is about ultimately... Um, trusting that you that there is um a higher connection to life because a lot of times uh you know with the the wands and the pentacles the lower energies of those can be the ego and greed you know the mater over materialism 
But the high priestess is that there is a higher purpose to all of this. Uh, maybe like if you do get money out of a certain situation, the high priestess is you want to study something spiritual and you don't want to have to work at that time. You want to just devote yourself. You have um, Pisces in your 10th house of career. So there might be something mystical going on and this will give you that breathing room. If this is a relationship situation, maybe you've been married, um, getting divorced and somebody new coming into your life, this person may elevate you spiritually or you elevate each other that way. And so it was worth fighting for because you are coming out on top. Okay, that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that this resonates. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.